Hi, I'm Tracy Fugere. Basin Electric Power Cooperative wants you to know there's more to the business of power supply than just flipping a light switch. Your electric cooperative is a member of a large power supply system. The 2,000 employees of Basin Electric work 24 hours a day, seven days a week to make sure power is there when you flip the switch. While the journey of electricity to your home takes less than a second, it may have started at a power plant several hundred miles away. At Basin Electric, we operate four large coal-based plants, two in North Dakota, the Leland Old Station near Stanton, the Antelope Valley Station near Beulah, and two in Wyoming, the Laramie River Station near Wheatland, and the Dry Fork Station near Gillette. And we'd love to take you on a tour, so you can see firsthand what it takes to produce electricity. One of our most popular tour spots is about five miles north of Beulah, North Dakota. This $4 billion energy complex is unmatched by any other in the state, the region, or dare we say, the country. This area is home to a modern coal-based electric generating station, the Antelope Valley Station. It has two generating units, each with a capacity of 450,000 kilowatts. This power plant has the capacity to supply electricity to more than 720,000 residential homes. A tour of Antelope Valley Station includes a presentation using a scale model in addition to walking tours of the turbine deck to view the plant in operation. Next door to the Antelope Valley Station is the Great Plains Sinfuels plant, the nation's only commercial size coal gasification plant. It produces pipeline quality natural gas from coal. The Sinfuels plant is owned and operated by Dakota Gasification Company, a subsidiary of Basin Electric. Tours of the Sinfuels plant take place in the visitor center, where guests learn how this plant converts coal to natural gas. The process is described using a scale model that covers more than 1,200 square feet. In addition to natural gas, the Sinfuels plant also produces and markets eight byproducts and co-products that include fertilizers, petrochemicals, rare gases, and carbon dioxide. These are sold in the United States and worldwide. Fuel for both the Sinfuels plant and the Antelope Valley Station is provided by the Freedom Mine, the largest lignite coal mine in North Dakota and the U.S. While touring the Freedom Mine, you'll see how more than 13 million tons of lignite is extracted every year and shipped not only to the two plants nearby, but also the Leland Old Station, about 30 miles to the east. You'll see firsthand the complete coal removal cycle from beginning to end and how the land is returned to its original use, either cropland or prairie ground. The area north of Beulah is but one segment of the energy production in North Dakota. Basin Electric is also a leader in developing wind projects in the Dakotas. Within the borders of these two states, Basin Electric has constructed two large wind projects and is the sole purchaser of electricity from six other projects. Tours of these projects are also available. We look forward to providing you with an exciting tour.